Hello, I'm Detective Chief Superintendent Mark Warrender of Gwent Police. Uh, I'm the lead for hate crime across Gwent, and I also have a responsibility for the coordination of hate crime across Wales. I'm really pleased today to support the production of this film, which is intended to raise the awareness around mate crime, which is a very specific type of hate crime. Mate crime is wrong, and I hope the film that you'll watch today will give you the ability to recognise what a mate crime is, and to have the confidence to report it to the police. You will be supported, and we will, together, stop this happening. Thank you. My name is Melissa. I have a learning disability and was a victim of made crime. Here's my story. It all started when my neighbour moved into the flat next door. He was nice to me in the beginning, often saying how nice I looked and always smiled at me if we passed on my way out. One day I was in my flat, scrolling through my phone and heard a knock at the door. I opened the door. It was my next door neighbour. He was really upset, telling me that he had run out of money and couldn't afford to put his electricity back on. He asked to borrow £10. I could see that he really needed it. So I helped him out and gave the money. He was really thankful and promised to pay me back. The next week he came to my flat again. This time he had lost his phone and needed to borrow mine. He was upset and came straight in. I gave him my phone to use. I walked back in and he was gone. I started to panic. I saw that my purse had moved too. I checked and there was 20 pounds missing. Half an hour later, there was a knock at my door. He had come back with my phone. He was really sorry and said that he needed to go outside as there wasn't any signal. I asked him about the money. He didn't know anything about it so I thought I must have dropped it somewhere. I looked at my phone and there was a text to say that my credit had all gone. I was so upset that I didn't have any credit left and couldn't afford to top it back up. He came to my flat a few times for a couple of months. I lent him over a hundred pounds and I couldn't afford to give him any more as I didn't get any of it back. I go to my local people first every week. It's somewhere where I can talk about anything that's bothering me. I told one of the support workers about my neighbour. They were shocked and told me not to give him any more money or let him use my phone again. I started to realise that I probably wouldn't get my money back and they phoned the police for me. After this, things started to get better. I didn't get a knock on my door again and now my housing association has moved me into a lovely new home as I was afraid that he may come and find me as he was in trouble with the police. Now I know this was actually a, a crime and 
the police did take it seriously. I now feel much safer in my new home and I'm a lot happier thanks to Newport People First, the police and my housing association. Mate crime is just about as low as anyone can get. To consciously take advantage of a vulnerable person to steal their money, their possessions or to abuse them in some other way is a crime that most right-minded people would think was absolutely horrendous and totally unacceptable. I'm very pleased to be able to fund this project through my partnership fund, which ironically is a sum of money that we get through the proceeds of Crime Act where the ill-gotten gains of criminals are ploughed back into communities so that they can be put to good use.